Hey, Dylan from Sandman Wood Design again. Uh, today we're going to do the video on how to hook up your vacuum pump for your SCV or SCA. Uh, I think it's just as simple as hooking up the power for the machines. Uh, so let's get to it. All right, so we're going to first start by removing these four screws on the vacuum pump. Once you get those four screws undone, you're going to take the top cover off the vacuum pump and you're going to remove the pamphlet from inside. Now you'll notice that there's three terminal connectors and a ground screw inside of this box. And we're going to talk about that a little more in detail so that we know where to hook up and where not to hook up. Now you'll notice that two of these terminals have nuts on them. You're going to go ahead and remove these nuts. These are going to be your power connectors for your 220. And again, the same thing as the power hookup for the STV and the SCA, it's the same. Doesn't matter if you put black to left, white to right, or in this case, the middle, or white to left, black in the middle. All right, now the vacuum pump's pretty self-explanatory. There's only two nuts, so you're only going to connect power to the left and the middle. You're not going to connect to the third one because there's no nut. Now you'll see this little ground screw on the far right. That's going to be where your ground goes. Now for the 220 that we're using, we have two hot wires and a ground. So your two hot wires are going to go on the left and middle, and then your ground is going to go on the far right screw that we just removed. You're just going to feed your cable in through the little twist lock connector on the outside. Now you are going to need a pack of these yellow ring connectors. The yellow is for 10 gauge wire and if you're using 10-3 like I recommended, then these will fit your gauge of wire. It's going to have a circle on the end so that it slips right over the nut and the bolt. You can tighten it down. And you're just going to go ahead and slip these connectors right over the wire. Take a good pair of crimpers or wire cutters with crimpers and go ahead and crimp them down nice and tight. Once you have them crimped down nice and tight, I'm going to go ahead and start by connecting the ground cable first just because it's a screw head and not a nut. Now again, I chose to go with black on the left, white in the middle. You're going to go ahead and slip the nuts back on. And you're just going to go ahead and tighten them down. Once you have them tightened down, you're going to go ahead and put that gold cover back on the top of the vacuum pump and the wiring is done. Now to get these pipes on, I found it easier to take the little plywood base that it comes on off. You just remove it with a few bolts. And so once you remove that, it's a little easier to get these on. I just tightened the piping onto it, put the filter on, and tightened everything down. Now one thing I do want to make note of is when you tighten this down, you want to make sure that the filter is at the top of the motor so that you can put the plate back on and set it upright when you put it back under your machine. Now you're going to remove this little fitting here on the exhaust side. And you're going to get the exhaust muffler and you're going to screw it into place. Now 
Once you've put all the piping into place, you can now go ahead and secure the base back to the vacuum pump. All right, so once you've got all that put together, I'm gonna go ahead and put my vacuum pump underneath my table. I'm gonna remove the four bolts from top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right, and that whole plate will come off of the front, and then you can slide your vacuum pump underneath the table. Once you slide the vacuum pump underneath the table, you're gonna have this clear hose. You're gonna connect it to the black canister filter, tighten down the clamp, and then you're gonna put the other side in the middle port on your vacuum table and clamp that down. Once you've done that, you've completed everything. And that's all there is to it to install on your vacuum pump. Once you've done that, you can start using the vacuum table and you'll be good to go.